Join me for another day in our city of dreams! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 most expensive video games ever made. She, be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. <laughs> Indeed. For this list, we're looking at games that require a massive investment to be developed, promoted, and manufactured. Bear in mind that many of the quoted figures are the best estimates available, as companies are often unwilling to release their exact spending figures. And also keep in mind that all numbers are for the time of the game's release and will be higher once adjusted for current US inflation, and we will only be including games that have been released. So don't expect to see Star Citizen on this list. Which high-budget game is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20. Red Dead Redemption This open-world western is a game that was absolutely worth the hefty price tag. Selling around 15 million copies, Rockstar comfortably recouped their estimated 80 to 100 million dollar budget and created one of the best games ever in the process. They used every second of the five-year development cycle to craft a beautifully diverse world full of fascinating characters and plenty of Wild West machismo, which would only be topped by its sequel almost a decade later. Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. Number 19. Genshin Impact Oh, Paimon's so jealous. Why doesn't Paimon get cool fighting powers? When this game was first revealed back in 2019, it suffered a lot of backlash due to its various similarities with Breath of the Wild, and with an incredibly high budget of $100 million, it was going to need to do something big to break out of that bad stigma. Luckily, for the developers at MiHoYo, Genshin Impact has been an astronomical success, with its gacha system grossing over $1 billion by the end of March 2021. This has made it one of the highest grossing mobile games of all time, and it has shown no signs of slowing down. With Jean on our side, surely even the vicious Storm Terror will be no match for us! Number 18. Tomb Raider Yes, Sam. I need you to keep this to yourself for now. I'm going to help Reyes fix that boat, but then I'm taking it inland. Square Enix had an ambitious list of targets for their $100 million reboot of gaming's favorite British adventurer. Sell 6 million units in a month, be profitable in the same period, and achieve hugely positive critical reaction. No pressure for developers Crystal Dynamics then. Praise was heaped upon its graphical detail and narrative depth from the outset, but it took a while before their own criteria were satisfied. Selling 3.4 million copies in a month was impressive, but it took 8 months after release for them to finally reach profitability. Lara's new, untested look eventually led to sales of 11 million, the best ever for an IP that many thought was best left in the annals of gaming history. Something tells me the others found an easier way down. Number 17. Disney Infinity Containing the potential to cross over Disney, Marvel, and Star Wars properties, a $100 million investment in this Toys to Life title seemed like a venture destined to succeed. Early on, things were going swimmingly, reviews were positive, $500 million in revenue had been made, and it was overwhelmingly outselling its main competitor, Skylanders. Two sequels later, the series was cancelled in a hot mess of corporate interference and gross overestimation of what they could sell. Astonishingly, it was still the top of its genre at the time of cancellation, leading many to theorize that the budget for the sequels must have been even more extortionate than the first game. Number 16. Deadpool You can't sing. Crazy. I'm, I'm crazy for feeling. This $100 million beat-em-up featuring the Merc with a Mouth lacked the type of gameplay you might expect from such an expensive title. Wade Wilson's typically vulgar, fourth-wall-breaking humor was abundant, however, even poking fun at the developers and the shortcomings of the game. As much as Deadpool mocks gaming cliches, it doesn't hide the fact that many of those same tropes are present in almost every lifeless level. This all stemmed from a notably tumultuous existence. High Moon Studios employees were fired during development, and the game was pulled from online services after release. Perhaps Deadpool really was in charge all along. Number 15. Battlefield 4 
Released during the Call of Duty franchise's heyday, this iteration of the Battlefield franchise was going to need a lot of money in order to compete. With a budget of around 100 million, the game was praised for its fantastic multiplayer mode. Sadly, its high budget wasn't enough to beat its longtime rival, with only 7 million copies sold compared to Call of Duty Ghost's absolutely insane 19 million. Number 14, Max Payne 3. And what kind of town was this? One where I didn't speak the language and they didn't water down their drinks. There was considerable pressure on Rockstar to deliver a game that would not only live up to Remedy's previous two third-person shooters, but also be a commercial success. By pumping $105 million into the project that was meant to be released way back in 2009, they ensured the series carried on its exceptionally dark tone, but left themselves needing to sell 4 million copies just to break even. While an aggressive marketing strategy eventually allowed them to hit the mark, Rockstar greatly overestimated the game's sales projections, resulting in a lot of unsold copies of the game ending up in bargain bins everywhere. At least I had found myself a tour guide. Number 13. APB All Points Bulletin Early trailers had this game from UK developers Real Time Worlds looking like a GTA-esque MMO. The end product, however, barely fulfilled 10% of that promise. Key shooting and driving mechanics were blatantly unfinished, leaving players bemused as to where the $105 million budget had gone. They got their answer when, with barely anyone playing their game, real-time closed shop two months after APB's release, allowing unpaid ex-staff the freedom to reveal all. They say the enormous budget made key executives complacent, resulting in a lack of direction during a meandering five-year development cycle the fledgling company was ill-equipped to cope with. Number 12, Grand Theft Auto 4. If you're wondering how Liberty City came to look like a detail-perfect imagination of New York City, look no further than Rockstar's immensely in-depth $100 million plus production cycle. Researchers based in the Big Apple analyzed the demographics of various neighborhoods and even studied weather patterns to provide minute features that immerse you in the enormous cityscape. Those efforts, in combination with delays and having to pay a 150-strong team, made it the most expensive game ever at the time, an investment Rockstar would immediately recoup by earning $310 million in just one day. Apart from the inevitable criticisms of violent content, barely a negative comment has been recorded about a game that defined the open-world market. Number 11. Shadow of the Tomb Raider For the final entry in Lara Croft's origin trilogy, Eidos Montreal and Square Enix needed to pull out all of the stops, resulting in an even greater budget than the first game. Estimated at around 110 to 135 million, the game initially suffered from much slower sales compared to its predecessors. Despite this, the game received positive reviews and would go on to ship a healthy 4 million copies worldwide. I don't understand how this could have happened. Number 10, Final Fantasy VII. The legacy left by this legendary title is still felt by contemporary gamers, but it didn't come cheap. Around 45 million went on development, and 100 million was allocated for marketing an RPG that was one of the first to convincingly penetrate the North American market. Square's move to 3D and the elevation of production values was lapped up around the world as 2.3 million copies were sold in just three days. Surprisingly, for a game often labeled as the best ever, the developers were forced to leave out several planned elements to meet a tight release date. Those exclusions apparently made no difference to fans, and it went on to sell 12.8 million units. Number 9, Dead Space 2. Despite being critically acclaimed, the original Dead Space was a modest success, selling around 1 million copies worldwide. So it's incredibly surprising that its follow-up is one of the most expensive video games of all time, with a sizable $120 million budget. Dead Space 2 would ship around 2 million copies in its first week, and although it initially had strong sales, Electronic Arts would consider the game financially disappointing. Sadly, its developer Visceral Games would shut down in 2017, following even more poor sales for Dead Space 3. 
Number 8. Destiny Being the creators of one of the most successful video game franchises on the planet, it's absolutely no surprise that Activision pumped as much money as possible into Bungie's first ever game since moving on from Halo. With an estimated total cost of around $140 million, Destiny desperately needed to be a success. Luckily for them, it sold over $325 million in its first five days, making it the most successful brand new franchise launch of all time. Not bad for a game that received polarizing reviews at launch. I could tell you of the great battle centuries ago. Number 7. Marvel's Avengers She, be worthy, shall possess the power of Thor. <laughs> Indeed. Considering its movie counterparts are some of the highest grossing films of all time, it's no surprise to anyone that this video game adaptation of Marvel Comics' premiere team came with a hefty budget. With a price tag of $170 million and counting, Square Enix fully intends to keep adding more and more money to this live service game. Even with all this money being pumped into it, the game has still yet to turn in a profit, and coupled with a less than stellar reception, things are looking pretty bleak for Earth's mightiest heroes. Screw this. Number 6. Halo 2 Bungie struck gold with the original Halo Combat Evolved, and with an estimated 5 million copies sold, Microsoft knew they had a hit on their hands. For the incredibly anticipated sequel, the game received a sizable $120 million budget, making it the most expensive video game ever at the time. Luckily, this gamble paid off, as not only is it considered one of the greatest video games of all time, but it sold at least 6.3 million copies, making it the best-selling game on the original Xbox console. Guess that wasn't so bad. Number 5. Star Wars The Old Republic BioWare had already proved that they could handle one of the greatest media properties ever when they released Knights of the Old Republic in 2003, and so were trusted with $200 million of EA investments for this subscription-based MMORPG. They created a game of immense scale and depth. It contained 1,600 hours of story content, yet still faced some criticism for getting muddled between an MMORPG and a Mass Effect-style experience. Although it required the move to a free-to-play model to reinvigorate interest in the game, it has been regularly expanded and in 2014 was still earning $165 million a year. Number 4. Grand Theft Auto V This open-world title offers limitless possibilities, especially if you're running a mod or two, and so was inevitably going to leave a sizable hole in Rockstar's pockets. With a reported cost of $265 million, it dwarfed the $100 million budget of its older sibling, and similarly obliterated it in pretty much every statistic you can think of. Benefiting from release over two generations of consoles, 145 million copies have been shipped, and although the free DLC likely eats into their $2 billion revenue, the online mode is a constant money-making machine. Its numbers are often compared to that of Hollywood's biggest projects, and rightly so. Its carnage frequently outdoes a blockbuster hit. Grand Theft Auto V has made twice as much as the last Harry Potter movie did in its opening weekend. That film holds the record for the best box office opening ever. Yes! Woo! Number 3. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Following the first Modern Warfare title selling 17 million copies, Activision could happily throw money at the sequel without worry of it ever being a failure. The development costs were relatively modest at just 40 to 50 million, but they put a staggering 200 million into marketing this FPS titan around the world. Featuring a refined, almost flawless online multiplayer and a new Spec Ops mode, 5 million copies were sold in a day and it went to pass 1 billion in sales in just a few months. The series has grown tired since the Juggernaut's success, but where can it really go when near perfection has already been achieved? Waited a long time for this. Number 2. Cyberpunk 2077 The hype was immense for this hotly anticipated CD Projekt Red title, and equally so was its budget. With a cost of $316 million and a lengthy development time, many were expecting perfection. 
When it came to release, despite having a good reception, the game was absolutely riddled with game-breaking bugs and glitches. None of this would matter, though, as the game would go on to sell over 13 million copies worldwide by the end of the year. Join me for another day in our city of dreams! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Red Dead Redemption 2 Hold up there, mister! Look out! What's going on? Rockstar needed to go all out in order to not only top the original Red Dead Redemption, but also follow up from their most successful game of all time, Grand Theft Auto V. This resulted in Red Dead Redemption 2 getting the highest budget a game has ever received, with an estimated cost being around $370 to $540 million. This all paid off greatly for the developer, as not only did the title receive multiple Game of the Year awards, but it shipped an estimated 37 million copies. One can only imagine how much a potential Grand Theft Auto 6 will cost. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.